Hi, today we are going to see what to do, if any of our project, or library corrupt. When we are working on a big projects for many days, sometimes project may get corrupted, or library files get corrupted. There are many reasons for this to happen. One of the reason is, while working on the project, if power went off, there is chance that your library may get corrupted. Or while moving your library from one hard disk to another storage, it causes problems to your library. There are various reasons for this kind of corruption. So what to do during this time? If your library or project get corrupted, we can retrieve it from backup. So what is the backup? We know that there is built-in autosave option in FCP. We can't find a save option in FCPX menus. FCP automatically saves whatever modifications you do to your project, and it creates a backup library file for every 15 minutes. Now let's find out where backup files are. They are in the movies folder of your user. There is a folder named as Final Cut Backups. Within that folder you can find many subfolders for each separate library. You can see iLearn Hub and its backup files, which I'm working from last four days. Here is a thing about backup procedure in FCP. If I'm working continuously for one hour, it will create four backup files, right? Consider, your library size is 20 gigabytes, well that means your backup libraries occupy 80 gigabytes of your storage? No. Here you can see, the size of backup library. It occupies less space. FCP doesn't backup in that way. It only backup metadata, but not the media. What is metadata? Metadata means, information about your project. Like, the applied filters and effects, in and out information of clips, etc. We know the default location of backups is, movies folder. We will see, how to change the location of backup at the end of this video. Now we will see how to retrieve a project from backup. Here is problem with my current library. There is an event got deleted from this. And now I need to restore it. For that, select the library, and then go to file menu, select open library, and then select from backups. Here, you can see the date and time of backup libraries. Select the last save library file and click open. It opens as a new library instead of overriding the current one. Here you can see the timestamp also. If you compare both libraries, you can find missing event in this library that is general. But unfortunately media files were not linked automatically. Here we need to relink these files. To do that, selecting the event, go to File menu, form their Select Relink Files option. This window shows the missing file details. To relink, click on Locate. If you don't know exact location of the missing files, you can select Root Folder. But, it is always better to show the exact location to save the time. After selecting the folder, select Choose and click Relink. It will automatically relinks the missing content. Now we are able to see all the media content. And here you can see the project from that event also. When you have a problem with your library or project, you can always retrieve it from backup like this. We have seen that the default location of backups are movies folder. But what if you want to change the backup location from movies folder to some other location? We will see. Select the library, go to Inspector Windows. Here we can see the library properties. From here, select Modify Settings for Storage Locations. Here we can change the location for backup. Select Choose and select the required folder. Here I'm selecting External Storage for FCP Backups. 
it is always better to save backups in external storage, instead of internal storage. Because, if something happens to the library, and if we have backup for media, we can easily restore the library from backups. If you have any doubts or problems with FCP, let us know in the comment section. We will try to make videos regarding those problems.